Hope everybody's doing well. This week's DIY will be me transforming this Goodwill find, and it was a great find. I am going to paint it, and I am going to show you the transformation. I hope from all of you are having a blessed day, and I hope you watch all the way through so that you can see the before and the after. This is what the shelf looks like, and we're going to start our transformation. We're going to start by using Bare Premium Plus Paint and Primer, and this is flat white. I'm using this type of brush, and I purchased this at the Home Depot for a dollar twenty something. You can find these brushes anywhere. You can find them at the Dollar Tree. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Family Dollar, General Dollar. They have these types of brushes anywhere. And I like to use this type of brush. I'm just showing you really quick before I actually show you the technique. How well this technique is covering up my surface. And all I am doing here is I just dip the brush in a little bit of paint. And there's not a lot. And now I'm just doing... I call it the feather, but it's not. Looks like what I'm doing. Basically, this is what I'm doing on the piece. I'm going like this. That's what I mean when I say the feather technique. So I just slightly tip the paint, just the tip. Okay, that's how much I have, which is barely nothing. Continue to do this. I'm almost done with, with half of it, and as you can see, it has really good coverage. I might do a second. This is what it looks like, all painted white. Now let's begin our detailing. She's already so beautiful. I don't want to bore you guys with the details, but I am going to show you. This is how beautiful she looks with some details. Now I'm going to show you what I did. If you go outside the the line, as they say, you can go later on. If you don't have different brushes, you can use the same brush once you wash it. And make sure that it doesn't have the gold paint. Then you could go with some white acrylic and you can fix around okay you're gonna have to do this you're gonna have to give it two coats because as you can see it's not giving me really good coverage but that's what I've done on all of this helpful tip when you're doing a time-consuming DIY like this you should turn on some music or put on a movie it will make the time go by faster the metallic folk art pearl white on that spot right there and these scallops this one this one doesn't have it and these do now you can see the difference so pretty. It looks so beautiful. Looks like pearls. And this is coming out beautiful. Alright guys, there's not much more that I can show you that I did. Um, 
if you have the smaller different type brushes for those little crevices in there I'm gonna have to go over with white paint I messed up a little bit on certain areas but in the areas that I miss messed up with the white paint I'm gonna have to go over with the gold again and it will help you out a lot more than you think if you have the different size tip brushes it's beautiful it's just beautiful it's it it, it looks more it looks better than what i had pictured it would before i started doing this i just seen it in my head and and guys but so that concludes this week's video let me know what you think of this wonderful transformation that we had going on over here do you know that if you go like this <laughs> concludes this week's video a before and after of a goodwill find if you haven't already please remember to like the video and if you haven't decided to be part of this wonderful wag YouTube channel yes this is a my like what yes this is why I don't appear on camera often but people complain you are not on camera why don't you come out on camera why like hello you're not interacting with your YouTube viewers subscribers maybe if you interact you will get more subscribers so here I am I'm interacting <sighs> that concludes this week's video if you haven't already, please remember to like the video. And if you haven't decided to be part of this wacky YouTube family, please click on that bell. If you double click on that little bell, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a brand new video. And for all of you wonderful subscribers that have been here with me for a while, I love you. You are appreciated. And for all of you that just click on the video and just want to criticize and make fun or have something negative to say, thank you for tuning in and thank you for commenting anyway. So, I hope all of you stay blessed, be kind, and I will see you soon. Mm.